The draft bill on the establishment of the Office of Missing Persons was signed by Speaker Karujaya Surya today. Meanwhile, Minister of Megapolis and Western Development Party Champika Ranavaka said in Parliament today that the state-owned land in which the CSN channel was functioning on was given to the Rajapaksa Memorial Educational Cultural Social Services Foundation on a lease. It was given on lease to the Rajapaksa Memorial Educational Cultural Social Services Foundation. When giving out this land, the conditions do not grant authorization for the initiation of a private television or radio station. So if a certain group has informed a company in violation of these conditions, what action is being taken against those groups? This land had been obtained for the purpose of initiating activities related to social services and culture, not the initiation of a commercial activity. First and foremost, we have terminated this lease agreement. Secondly, we have sought legal advice on what measures could be taken regarding this. Some of 163,125 rupees has been given as the annual lease. So has this land in such an area been given on lease based on a government estimate? The value is decided based on how the land is utilized. The leasing agreement says that the company was established on this land is for social services, cultural and educational activities and the leasing amount was decided based on that. You said that this company which obtained this land on a lease did not utilize the land for the stated purpose. If you terminated this leasing agreement, have you taken measures to reclaim this land and the other property that has been built on this land? We have sought legal advice in that regard.